Hi, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here, and man, I'm happy to have the Aero Scout bound up to my new transmitter, and uh, I'm excited to get it up in the air. It's been a little while, and uh, one of the main reasons I got it out here today is I wanted to make sure everybody knew that Horizon Hobby is running a sale on their trainer aircraft right now. So this airplane right here, you can get it in a ready-to-fly package which includes everything you need to get started for only $199. That's an incredible deal. It runs till the end of the month. And uh, I just wanted to make sure everybody knew about it. Of course, I'll have it linked in the description box. But I just wanted to make sure because I love this airplane. They have a couple other airplanes, but I definitely recommend this one. It is so much fun. Let's get this thing in the air and see how it does. So we're going to taxi out here just a little bit and then we'll turn around into the wind with winds coming from the pond over here just past these trees and uh, we're going to kind of fly around the shed here. Let's get it up in there. So I do have it in safe and it's controlling my angle there as I take off and we'll keep some power in it as we're going in this downwind. And as we turn into the wind, it'll practically stop. It's going to move so slow. Got it about half throttle, and it is just putting along, giving me plenty of time if I was a new pilot just to figure out what I want to do with the controls next. I'm definitely in the downwind. I'm going to pick up a little bit of speed because it's going to need it for the lift as it loses airspeed. And here we are back into the wind, nice and easy. And uh, a lot of people probably train in just left-handed turns, so we can do that. Just You kind of go out here, and I'm actually mixing both aileron and rudder because of how slow it, uh, the safe makes it handle. It takes a little while to get those turns, and I'm trying to keep it in here a little bit close for you guys just showing you how docile I'm zero throttle right now as it's just kind of gliding into the wind letting it come down it's really slow as it drops down here you don't want to go zero throttle on the landing but uh, if you're trying to lose some altitude it's okay this airplane as long as you're in safe it's not too bad and then you know, if you if you get pretty comfortable with this plane, you can take it out of safe, and then uh, it'll do all kinds of interesting things for you. Bring it in here, kind of low. Well, right over my head, and do a little knife edge into the wind, of course. We can do a loop. Oh, all right. It's in. So I didn't have this mode on my other radio. This is like a intermediate mode. So it's keeping me from going upside down, but it was letting me lean it way farther. That's kind of an interesting thing when you're trying to learn. It'll let you do the lean, but it won't let it go upside down. That helps you kind of uh, with your orientation, you don't have to worry about accidentally getting it completely upside down. But, all right, there we go. I think I've got it out of any kind of, it'll be an experience mode where I can roll it upside down. And then uh, I should be able to do my loop. Getting out of the throttle to let it ease out of that loop. Now I should be able to get that knife edge going a lot easier. Going full throttle, giving it plenty of power because of it being a pusher prop. It is a little bit harder for this airplane to do like a knife edge and a lot of these maneuvers. And um, you can even fly it upside down if and when you are ready. You will have to be in the experience mode, obviously, to get the airplane upside down, but it's definitely capable.
a really decent roll rate and I've had a lot of fun with this airplane on the channel um, my first time flying this air particular uh, model of airplane was at the Horizon Hobbies RC Fest and uh, if you ever get a chance to go I definitely suggest going because they do have those booths where you can try out a lot of their beginner level uh, models of each one of the RC hobbies from the boats to the crawlers uh, I think they even have some basher style trucks that you can try out that's a lot of fun to get out there and do that kind of stuff so and of course this airplane is usually the one they have on their try it booth for flying and that's because they recognize that it's a great beginner plane too and if you buy this airplane it comes with one radio but if you join a club in your area uh, chances are somebody will be there that can help you learn to fly and if that's true uh, they can bind up to the airplane and connect your radio to their radio as a buddy box and that's a pretty awesome thing and all the new technology has it where you don't need that special wire that you used to need a little touch and go I got it a little bit too slow and the wind let it drop if I would have had it in safe I probably would have been alright but anyways going into buddy box uh, makes it so that the the person that knows how to fly can take the controls away from you if you get too low or you get a weird angle but if you're in safe and you're on buddy box chances are you're not going to crash your airplane and that when you know when i learned to fly 35 years ago that was a real thing you'd crash and then you didn't fly for a long time so Nowadays, with these foam airplanes, even if you do crash, if you don't have somebody doing buddy box with you, you can uh, hot glue this thing back together pretty fast and get back out there and try it again. And of course, if you got to hot glue your airplane together, it's never quite the same as brand new, but still pretty good. And uh, this airplane handles so good. Playing with the wind here, wasn't really moving forward. We're gonna throw it back in safe for the landing. I want to get out here just a little ways and then come back towards me because it's into the wind. And we're just gonna let it kind of take its time and work its way down. Hopefully I got it out there far enough it looks like it's coming at me kind of fast giving a little bit of up elevator to let it come down it's gonna make it past me so we're gonna go around I'm gonna try that again get it out there just a little bit of course the timer is telling me my five minutes are up here we go slowing down I'm gonna work my way across the wind here just a little bit letting it get a little bit lower here we go I think that's a good height get it past the trailer there There we go. Now it's time to bring it on down. And just like that, we're on the ground. And because of it being a tricycle gear, it's got really good ground handling. You can see it turns around nice and sharp. And you back taxi back here, ready to take off again. Just like that. And it doesn't take very far to take off as you guys seen from the beginning i was able to take off in just a couple parking spots i just love the aero scout guys i put my new sticker on the wing excited about making these new stickers i'm using uh one of those uh crea cut cutter Guys, I'm just loving this Aero Scout. I've had this one for quite a while. I bust that front landing gear and glued it back in place. Uh, I stripped a servo in it and replaced that. Um, yeah, I've been rough on this thing and it's still flying just like it did the day I bought it. Very happy with it. And uh, 
it, I just love seeing people get started in this hobby and enjoy something that I have such a big passion for. And uh, hopefully they can make memories like I have with my dad and just all those type of things. Man, I just love this hobby. I do appreciate all your guys' support. Big thanks to the Lord for a beautiful day to come out here and fly. It's almost, uh, I think, 90 degrees and we got a little bit of wind. It's helping keep it not too hot. And, um, yeah, just had a great time today. Until next time, I'm Grandpa Gary. And I just got here.